Good evening, everybody. Carter Bainbridge along with Trey Redfield at Gov Fuller Field. Welcome to Closing the Door. The Commodores just were defeated by the Katuit Cataliers 4 to nothing in front of their home crowd. And Trey, compared to opening day, the defense for the Commodores tightened up, the pitching staff more effective, but it was the hitting that let the doors down tonight. Yeah, the hitting once again, putting down Commodore fans. You know, only four hits tonight from the doors after we saw last night with the Harwich Mariners. They scored two runs on seven hits, and once again, only one extra base hit, and it came once again from Alex Mooney. So the hitting struggles are still there for the Commodores, and they got to figure this out knowing what's coming up tomorrow. A Harwich Mariner team once again, that's like the third time I said it, but still, I mean, Harwich is the hardest hitting team on the Cape, and the Commodores got to find the runs on their own end to hang with the Ms. Yeah, like you said, only four scattered hits tonight for the Commodores. A ninth inning double was not enough to start a rally. The Commodores shut out tonight for the first time this season. And Trey, we said the pitching staff and the defense were better, but that doesn't mean the Commodores played error-free baseball tonight. Yeah, there were five errors last night against the M's, but tonight there was one error and also a balk when Ike Buxton had the bases loaded and stopped his windup going from the windup. It brought in a Katua Ketelier run, and then that was the last run from the Cats tonight. So still some miscues to fix on the defensive side, but it wasn't as bad as last night. And you know what? That's what we call progress, Carter. And progress well made in time for another matchup with the Harwich Mariners tomorrow. We've talked way too much about their offense, but for good reason. They're one of the most potent teams on the Cape. We saw their capabilities opening day, and it's going to be a little bit of a different lineup, even just three games in, than the one we saw on opening day. Harwich already has signed a couple players we expected to be their opening day, including but not limited to Danny Corona, the infielder from Wake Forest. And you figure his teammate and last year's Cape Cod MVP, Brock Wilkin, may not be too far behind. Here come the Demon Deacons, basically, in the words of Carter Bainbridge. But still, you know, you could argue even more potent with this Mariner offense. The more weapons that Harwich is bringing, it's more likely going to put up more runs. So it's going to be really exciting to see. We'll see how many fireworks the Mariners put up tomorrow night, but also if the Commodores can hang around. This is really important, Carter. You don't want to start off with a three-game schneid to start 2022. The Commodores fall to 0 and 2 tonight, going down against the Katuit Cataliers, 4 to nothing, and the Doors' first road trip in waiting tomorrow. They go out to White House Field to play the Harwich Mariners, and this has been closing the door with Carter Bainbridge and Trey Redfield. We're going to wrap it up, but we're not done with our content. We're going to send it over to Logan Safarenko, who talked to tonight's Falmouth starting pitcher Ben Hess. Logan Sanfranco here, field side. I'm here with today's starting pitcher for the Falmouth Commodores, Ben Hess. Ben, three innings, five strikeouts, two hits, no runs allowed, two walks. How are you feeling after your 2022 season debut? Oh, yeah, it's, it was good. Uh, you know, knocked the rest off a little bit after the uh, little break from college. Um, but, you know, we we uh, we battled, but, you know, got the took the loss today, and, you know, it's the way it goes sometimes, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Walk me through these first couple of days on the Cape have been like, obviously getting acclimated to the East Coast setting. You guys have your first road game tomorrow. What's that been like? Oh, it's been good, you know. It's, uh, I've never been up here before, so, you know, it's cool to kind of check everything out, see different, see something that looks different than uh, Alabama or, you know, Central Illinois. So it's been cool, yeah. What's one thing that you think was working for you tonight on the mound from your arsenal? Uh, the fastball was good tonight. Um, you know, those guys were swinging under it and, I knew I had it for uh, for strikes late in the count, so it kind of allowed me to, to work on my breaking ball um, earlier and know that I had my fastball late in the count when I needed it. There you go. Ben Hess, very good start for the Falmouth Commodores today. Unfortunately, they do fall to the Katua Ketaliers 4 to nothing. They're on the road at Harwich at White House Field tomorrow. Ben, thank you for your time, and as always, roll doors.